Yo, yeah, hello there, and welcome back, my fellow Pixelators. What's going on, so bad Lucky HG here, and today we're uploading another Minecraft Pixel Auto build on Karumra. And today we're going to be doing part 15. So I don't know if this is the final part or not, it's probably not, considering how long that took, but without further ado, let's get straight into today's build. So, once again, for today's build, we're going to be using the same blocks. We're going to be using orange terracotta and orange concrete once again. So, without further ado, for the first area, we're going to be flying over to. We're going to be flying over to the tail that we did first on the left hand side, so all the way up to the top here, this one right here, to the left of the ear right here. So let's fly all the way down to the bottom, and we want to fly to the ear, and we want to fly to the first line that's going up from the ear. So not that three point there, that big line going up right there, so we want to fly over towards here. Once we fly into this big line, or going up here, we want to take our orange terracotta, and we want to fly to the very right top of it, so to this block right here, and we want to place two orange terracotta going to the left from here. So one and two. And I'm going to zoom out just for those that don't get the area we are going off. As you can see, that is the area we are going off on the first tail right there. So what I'll further do, once you have done that, I'll fly back over to that two you place to the left. And once we have flown back to here, we want to start off by doing an up left and diagonal from here. Just like so. If I want to set left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. Once you've done this, we want to do two left diagonals from here, so one and two. And from the second up left diagonal, place one going to the left, just like so. Once you've done this, we want to do another two up left diagonals from here, so one and two. And from the second up left diagonal, we want to place one going to the left, just like so. Once we've done this, we want to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. And from this third up left diagonal, we want to place one going to the left, just like so. And there we go. Once we've done this, fly back towards the end. And once we're flying back towards the end here, we want to do eight up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And from this eight up left diagonal, we want to place one on top, just like so. And then we want to do five up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. From this fifth up left diagonal, we want to place one on top, just like so. And so then we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, place one on top, just like so. And then we want to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. This time from the second up left diagonal, we want to place two going up from here. So one and two. We don't want to do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place another two going up. So one and two. We're going to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place one on top. Then do another up left diagonal, and from this up left diagonal, place another one on top. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. This time from this up left diagonal, place two on top, so one and two, and there we go. And once we have done this, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place another two on top, so one and two. We're then going to do another up left diagonal from here. This time we're going to place one on top. Once we've done this, do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place three on top this time. So one, two, and three. We're then going to do another up left diagonal from here, and just like so. And we're going to place another three on top. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to place one to the left, then fly to the right by one. So back to this right corner right here. And we want to place two going up from here. So one and two. Once we've done this, we want to zoom out. So we're not going to fly back to that one thing on the left yet. We will come back to that. We want to fly all the way to this black concrete to the right, right here. So this line that's on its own right here, we want to fly to the top of it. So to the top of this four right here. And once we've flown to the top one, we want to take our orange concrete and place two going to the right from here. So one and two. Let's take our orange terracotta and place one to the right. Then place one on top. Then fly underneath by one. So back to this one right here. And once we've flown back to here, we want to place 7 going underneath from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We don't want to do a bottom right diagonal. 
And from this bottom right diagonal, we want to place two underneath. So one and two. We don't want to do another bottom right diagonal from here. Just like so. And from this bottom right diagonal, place another two underneath. So one and two. And then we want to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we want to place one underneath this time. So just like so. And once we've done this, do another bottom right diagonal. And place another one underneath. And there we go. We don't want to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second bottom right diagonal, we want to place one to right. Then fly into our left by once, back to this one right here. And once we've flown back in towards here, we want to place three going up from here. So one, two, and three. Once we've done this, fly back to that one that we place to the right. So back to this one right here. Once we've flown back to here, we're going to place two going underneath from here. So one and two. We don't want to place one to right, and then we want to place one underneath, and then we want to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. And there we go. Once we have done this, we're going to zoom out, and then we want to fly to those three that we placed on top, so these, to these two that are sticking up right here. And once we've flown over towards here, we're going to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place three on top. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal from here, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place 8 on top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we want to place 1 going to the left. And from this one that we just placed to the left, we want to place 2 on top. So 1 and 2. We don't want to place 1 to the left. And then place 1 on top. And then fly underneath by 1, so back to this one right here. And we want to place 2 going underneath from here. So 1 and 2. And then finally but not least we want to place one to the left and then there we go we're done with that area as you can see there should look like four sticking up right here so the first stuff that we place to the right of the orange concrete as you can see it looks like four sticking up and there we go we're done with that area so as you can see orange terracotta is going to go all inside here once you've done this we're going to take our orange concrete and once again on the outside we're just going to fill over on the outside just to mark everything out to make sure we don't spill over once again Gonna get all these areas then. And there we go, that should be the final area. Right there. And there we go. So once you've outlined everything, we're gonna move back over to that one orange terracotta that's sticking onto the left. So back to this one over here. And once we've flown over to this one sticking onto the left, we want to do an up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, place two on top, so one and two. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here. And this time from this up left diagonal, we want to place five on top. So one, two, three, four, and five. And from this five on top, we want to do another up left diagonal from here, and just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place ten on top this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We don't want to place one going to the right. Then we want to place one on top. And fly underneath by one, so back to this bottom right corner here, and place one to the right, and then place two underneath, one and two. And there we go, once you've done this, fly back to that one that we placed on top, so back to this one right here, and once we've flown back to here, we're going to place another three on top, so one, two, and three. We don't want to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we'll place five on top, so one, two, three, four, and five. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, place four on top. So one, two, three, and four. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place two on top. So one and two. We don't want to place one to the left. And then from this one that we place to the left, fly to the right by one, so back to this right corner here. And to place three on top. So one, two, and three. Once we've done this, fly back to that one that we placed to the left, so back to here. Once we've flown back to here, do an up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place one on top. Then do another up left diagonal, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, place three on top. So one, two, and three. Then do another up left diagonal from here. 
and turn this up left diagonal we're going to place one on top and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and turn this up left diagonal we're going to place another one on top and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and we're going to place another one on top just like so and there we go we're done with that area right there so once we have done this we are going to take our orange concrete and once again on the outside we're just going to fill it all on the right hand side all orange concrete on the right hand side and on the left hand side inside here is going to be all orange terracotta so once again let's mark out this area so we've got quite a lot of marking out to do I would probably say this is probably the longest tower out of all of them, I think anyway. Again, as I said, this actually really this one's actually a bit easier because it's not as many sections going out to the right on its own. That's what takes up usually a lot of time. This, this, so there is a couple of those sectors, but they're kinda of all on their own. It's a bit weird. Um you see anyway. What about and what I mean by weird is just like the way everything is shaded that I've shaded is a lot different. Yeah, you understand when you see it's, it's all angles basically. And uh, there we go. So there is the first tail done. Well, I guess you could say technically it's actually the fifth tail done, but the first one for today's part. So we're off to once we have done this tail, we're gonna fly over to the next tail and we're gonna be flying over to this one on its own right here. So this small one down here. Obviously there's other parts down here, but we're just doing this top section right here. So for this area, we wanna be flying all the way to the bottom first. So let's fly all the way down to the bottom of this sector in the side here. And we wanna be flying to that three that's going along right here at the bottom. As you can see, this three right here. And we wanna to fly to the middle of that three. Once we have flown to the middle of this three, taking our orange terracotta, we want to place four on top from here, so one, two, three, and four. We then want to do an up left diagonal from here, and turn this up left diagonal, we want to place one on top. And then from this one that we place on top, we want to do an up right diagonal, just like so. And then from this up right diagonal, we want to do an up left diagonal, and from this up left diagonal, place one on top. Once you've done this, we want to take our orange concrete, and so we want to place two orange concrete going to the left from here. So one and two. We don't want to take our orange terracotta. And we want to place one going to the left. We don't want to place two underneath. So one and two. And fly back up to the top. So back to this one that we place to the left of the orange concrete. Once we've flown back to here. We want to place one going to the left. We then want to place one on top. Just like so. And from this one that we place on top. We want to place one to the left. Then place one on top. Then fly underneath by ones about this bottom left corner here and place one going to the left then place two underneath so one and two once in this fly back all the way up to that one that we placed on top right here and once we've flown back to here we want to place another one on top once we place this one on top do an up left diagonal just like so and then for us up left diagonal place two on top so one and two we don't want to do another up left diagonal from here and to this up left diagonal, we want to place one on top, just like so. And then we want to repeat this two here three more times in a up left diagonal direction. So do an up left diagonal, we place one on top, that's one. The up left diagonal, number one top, that's two. The up left diagonal, number one top, and that's three. And there we go. That should be four of those twos in total in a up left diagonal direction. So one, two, three, and four. And you can see we've got four of them, so fly back towards the end one. Once we've flown back to here, we're going to do six up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And from the six up left diagonal, we want to place one going to the left. We don't want to place one underneath. Then fly back up by one, so back to this left corner here. And do two up left diagonals from here. So one, and two. And there we go. Once you've done this, we want to fly back to that one that we placed underneath, so back to here. And once we fly back to here, we want to do four bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And there we go. 
On his fourth bottom right diagonal, place two underneath, so one and two. Then we want to do two bottom right diagonals from here, so one and two. On his second bottom right diagonal, place a one underneath. And then we want to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And on his bottom right diagonal, place another one underneath. Once we've done this, we want to do two bottom right diagonals from here, so one and two. And from the second bottom right diagonal, place one underneath. We don't want to do another bottom right diagonal. And from this bottom right diagonal, place two underneath, so one and two. And there we go, we are done with this section right here, so we can zoom out. So, as you can see, all orange terracotta is going to go on the inside here, so inside that two, and that two there, and all inside there, and all those up left diagonals. And our orange concrete is going to go all on the outside. And the same with this area right here, as you can see, this area is also done. So orange terracotta is going on the right hand side in here. And orange concrete is just going to be filled on the left hand side, all in the rest. So let's mark out the orange concrete once again. And there we go, there's the first little part marked out. And now we're just going to mark out the next part. So not a lot for this tail, I mean, then again, it's only part of the tail, and it's also, well, yeah, it's a very small sector, so. That's why there's not a lot of outlining there to be done. And there we go. So, there's that part there done right there. So, moving on to next tail for today. So, once again, another kind of very small sector, this next tail, which is this tail right here, as you can see. For the area we're going to be going off with this tail, we're going to be flying all the way over to the right-hand side, over to this sector over here. And we want to be flying down to this sector where my cursor is hovering over, right here, as you can see. So basically we've got, if we're flying it up left down direction, we've got two, and then two up left diagonal, singular, and we've got another two going to the left, just like so. And we're flying to that area right there, and so we want to fly to the first singular of those two up left diagonals right there. So as you can see, it's the only area where there is two singular up left diagonals right here, and we want to be flying to the very first one. So fly to the very first one. Once you have flown to the very first one, right here, Taking our orange terracotta, we're going to place four going to the left from here. So one, two, three, and four. Once again, I'm just going to zoom out for those that didn't get the area. That is the area we're going off there, right there, as you can see, on the next tail. So we're off over to fly back over to that area once you have placed four going to the left from here. And if you've got four going to the left from that first up left diagonal to two, we're going to do another up left diagonal from the end of here, just like so. We're going to left diagonal, plus 7 going to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then do another up left diagonal from here, just like so. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place 5 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we want to do 2 up left diagonals from here. So 1 and 2. Then from the second up left diagonal, we want to place 3 to the left. So 1, 2, and 3. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place two to the left. So one and two. And then do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place one to the left. Just like so. And there we go, we're done with this area. So we're not quite done with the tower yet, because we've got another area to do just there. But we can fill on above, right here with our orange concrete. So down here on the bottom hand side, to the right as well, kind of. Orange terracotta is going all underneath here. And orange concrete is going all above. So, once again, just going to mark out the area, just like so, and there we go. So, now we're going to move on to the next sector of this tail, so we've got another sector to do, and we want to be flying to that second furthest point that's sticking up on this tail. So what I mean by that is these like kind of areas that are coming up here, we want to fly to the second furthest, so this one right here. And we're going to be going from this one all the way up to that point right there. So these two points here, as you can see. So let's fly over to this point right here at the bottom. 
and we want to be flying to the very top left corner of the piece right here. Once we've flown to here, taking our orange terracotta, multiply from one going to the left from here. Once again, I'm going to zoom out for those that don't get the area that we're going off. As you can see, that is the area we're going off right here. Once we've placed that one going to the left, fly back over to that one, staying out to the left. Once we've flown back over to here, and doing up left diagonal from here, I try to up left diagonal and place one on top. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here. And to place up left diagonal, we want to place seven on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, we want to place two going underneath. So one and two. We don't want to place one to the left. And then we want to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. From the second up left diagonal, place one on top. And then do another two up left diagonals. So one and two. From the second up left diagonal, place one on top. And then do another up left diagonal, just like so. And then there we go, we're done with this area. As you see, that up left diagonal has connected to this other point here. And it's connected to the second one going up from the bottom right here. And once we have done this, once again, orange terracotta is going to go on the left hand side inside here. And orange concrete on all the rest on the outside. So once again, take on our orange concrete, we're just going to fill on the outside right across. And there we go, so that sector done right there as well. So we're just going to get a zoom out. And now we're going to move on to the next tile. So we, we should be able to get everything done today because there's probably no point doing everything in uh, like about well, the last tile in one final part. So we're going to get this tile done, but we do have two more big points to do on here and here. But not like any areas there we have to go off and get out of the way to. So it makes it just very, very slightly quicker. So what we'll do, let's fly over to the next tail. And for the area we're going to go on off, we'll be flying all the way to the right of this tail right here. Over to the face, as you can see. And we want to be flying to this area right here. So as you can see, there's two right here. We want to fly over to that two that's sticking up. Once we've flown over to this two sticking up, we want to place two orange terracotta on top from here. So one and two. And then we want to place two going to our left. So one and two. And once we've done this, I'm going to zoom out just for those that don't get the area we're going off. That is the area we're going off there, right there. And as you can see, on this tail right here. So once again, fly back over to the area. So once we have done this area right here, as you can see, looking like this. We want to do an up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place four going to the left. So one, two, three, and four. And there we go. Once in this, we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And on this up left diagonal, we want to place five going to our left this time. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. Once in this, we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from the super left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, and then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from the super left diagonal, place one to the left, and then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from this left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, and then we want to place one underneath. And then we want to fly back up by once, back up to this left corner here, and place one on top, and then place one to the left. And there we go. Once we've done this, we want to fly back to that one that we placed underneath, so back to this one right here. And once we've flown back to this one right here, we want to place 10 going to the left from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we want to do an up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we want to place 3 to the left. So, 1, 2, and 3. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, and then we want to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place another one to the left, and then do another up left diagonal, and place another one to the left. Once you've done this, we want to do two up left diagonals from here. So one, and two. And from the second up left diagonal, we want to place another one to the left. Once you've done this, we want to do another two up left diagonals from here. So one, and two. Once again, from the second up left diagonal, place another one to the left. We don't want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, place one to the left. 
And then we want to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, and two, and three. And there we go. From this third up left diagonal, what we're going to do is we're going to place one to the left, and place one underneath, and then fly back up by once, back up to this left corner here, and do two up left diagonals. So one and two. Once you've done this, we want to fly back to that one we placed underneath, so back to here. And once we've flown back to here, we're going to place two going to the left, so one and two. Once we've done this, we want to do three up left diagonals from here, so one, two, and three. And from this third up left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. Once we've done this, we want to do two up left diagonals from here, so one, and two. And there we go. Once we've done this from the second up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left. And once we've done this, we want to do another up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, place one to the left, and just like so. And then we want to do two up left diagonals from here. So one, and two. And there we go. From the second up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, just like so. And once we've done this, we want to do three up left diagonals from here. So one and two and three from this third up left diagonal we want to place one underneath we don't want to place two to the left so one and two and then we want to do three up left diagonals from here so one two and three and from this third up left diagonal we want to place one on top then do another up left diagonal and from this up left diagonal we want to place one to the left just like so and then we want to do five up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. When it's fifth up left diagonal, we want to place one on top, just like so. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And when it's up left diagonal, we want to place another one on top. We don't want to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And on the second up left diagonal, we want to place one on top, just like so. And then we want to repeat this two here two more times in up left diagonal direction. So do an up left diagonal, place one on top, that's one. Do another up left diagonal, place another one on top, and that's two. As you can see, that should be three of those twos in total in the up left diagonal direction. So one, two, and three. And as you can see, we've got three of them, so fly back towards the end one. Once we've flown back towards the end one right here, we're going to place one to the left, then place one on top, then fly underneath by one, so back to this one here. And then we want to place one underneath, and then we want to place one to the left, and there we go. Once we've done this, we want to fly back to that one we placed on top, so back to this one right here. And once we've flown back to here, we want to place another two going up. So one and two, we then want to place one to the left, and then we want to place one going up. Once we've done this, we want to fly back to that one that we placed to the left over here. And once we've flown back to this one that we placed to the left, we want to do an up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place one on top. And then we want to do another up left diagonal and place another one on top. And then we want to do another up left diagonal and place another one on top, just like so. And then we want to do another up left diagonal from here and place another one on top. And then we want to do another up left diagonal from here and place another one on top. And there we go. Once we've done this, we want to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. From the second up left diagonal, place one on top. And then do another up left diagonal. When it's up left diagonal, place one on top. Then fly underneath by one, so back to this one right here. And we're going to place two going underneath from here. So one and two. We don't want to place one to the left. When it's one that we place to the left, do an up left diagonal. From it's up left diagonal, place two on top. So one and two. Then do another up left diagonal. From it's up left diagonal, place one on top. And then do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place another one on top. And then once you've done this, we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And place one on top. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And this time we want to place two on top. So one and two. And then we want to repeat this three here three more times in the up left diagonal direction. So do an up left diagonal. Place two on top. That's one. Do another up left diagonal. Place another two on top. That's two. Another up left diagonal. Another two on top. And that's three. And there you go, that should be four of those threes in total in the left diagonal direction. So one, two, three, and four, and as you can see we've got four of them, so fly back towards the end one. Once we've flown back towards the end one right here, we want to do another up left diagonal from here. 
Coming us up the left diagonal, we want to place four on top. So one, two, three, and four. We don't want to fly underneath by one, so do this one right here. And we want to place one to the left. And then we want to do an up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place three on top. So one, two, and three. We don't want to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place four on top. So one, two, three, and four. And then do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place two on top. So one and two. And then we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place three on top. So one, two, and three. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, place three on top. So one, two, and three. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place two on top. So one and two. And there we go. Once we've done this, we are done with this area right here. So once again, orange terracotta is going on the left hand side underneath in this area. And orange concrete is going to go all on the right hand side. So this was actually probably bigger than the other area, I'm not going to lie. Because it was underneath and it pretty much goes all the way to the top. And pretty much not the furthest, but it definitely sticks out far, that's for sure. But luckily there's no annoying areas that we have to go out of our way to go and do. What I mean by that, I mean those areas where we have to place orange concrete and then do another orange terracotta line. So it was a nice a smooth area. Also by the end of this I'm also going to put, I'm probably going to put um, two pictures on the screen. And I would like your uh, opinion on what you would think, well what do you think looks better. So it would be a picture of a Zorro because that's what I'm currently doing right now. And one of them is going to be going towards a big project. And I want to know your opinion on which one you might think looks better. So I don't know if they will be on there or not. They probably would be now that I'm saying this. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your opinion on which one you think looks better overall in terms of design. And think about it in the way that you're going to be filling in this design. As a sense of essentially like Minecraft. Because they will be into Minecraft. But Minecraft will be a bit different regardless. But... I kind of want your opinion on what you think would suit it more. The first version I'll show you, or the second version, which you would think looks better in terms of design. Also, for the next build, what everyone's wondering what's going to be happening, the next build is going to be Jira, because we do need to finish our Jira. After Jira, the next build will be Zoro, as Zoro has been the most requested out of all the builds I've had suggested to me at this current time. And then after Zoro, we're probably going to be doing another Naruto themed build. And I'm probably leaning towards doing Pain. After that, it's probably going to be Nami. And then after that, we're probably going to be doing Toby. After that, we're probably going to be doing Kagimura. And then after that, I'm not so sure what after that. And also, we'll probably have a special before any of that happens as well. Well, actually, after Zoro, it's probably going to be the hundreds of special. Then it might be pain, because I need to release that. Um, but again, we're off through enough of wasting time. Moving on to the next tale for today. We're going to be flying over to that small sector where you can see my cursor is over right now. And for the area we're going to be going off, we're going to be going all the way to that one sticker underneath right here. So as you can see, that just one bottom right diagonal. From those lines right there. We want to fly over to that one right there. Once we've flown over to this one right here, we're we'll going to take our orange terracotta and we want to place four going to the right. So one, two, three, and four. We don't want to do a bottom right diagonal from here. From this bottom right diagonal, we want to place one to the right and then we want to place one underneath. We don't want to place one to the right. We're flying to the left by one, so back to this one right here. And we want to place one going to the left. And place one underneath. And then we want to do three bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. Then once we've done this, we want to fly to that one that's sticking up to the right. And once we've flown to this one sticking up to the right, place one underneath. And then place one to the right. And there we go, we're done with this sector. So orange terracotta is going on all the left hand side inside here and down there. And as you see, that one gap right there is orange concrete, if you can't tell. And orange concrete is going to go on the right. So once again, take our orange concrete and we're going to mark out. This area, so we can fill in that gap. Because it would look confusing otherwise if we didn't fill it in. And there we go. There is everything done right there. So, I can see orange concrete on the right. Orange terracotta on the left. 
So moving on to the final big sector. So for the big sector we're going to be going over to, once again we're going to be flying over to the right, and we're going to be flying to this big line going up here. So once again, well not actually technically the first line, because actually no it is the first line, because those two gaps right there is air. So this big line right here, we want to be flying to the top of it, and from the top we want to fly underneath by three. To make it easy, take our orange concrete and place one to the left from the top, then place one underneath, then take out the orange terracotta and place one underneath, and then place two to the left, so one and two. And there we go, I'm going to zoom out just for those that don't get the area, we should be looking like that right there as you can see. So instead of counting three underneath, we just place orange concrete, because it's, well, I guess it's a bit easier, as a sense instead of counting, because I can't really show you counting, because when looking at the black concrete, it doesn't pick up the lines on the recording device on the Elgato, but it, it does looking at it, but anyway, there you go. So once we have done this, we're going to be flying back over to the end of that three. Once we've flown back over to the end of this three, we want to do a bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. And from this bottom left diagonal, we want to place four going to the left from here. So one, two, three, and four. And then we want to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. From this up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left and place one underneath. And fly up by once, back up to the left corner right here, and place one to the left, then one on top, and then one to the left. Once you're in this, we're going to fly to that one that we place underneath. Once you've flown to this one that we place underneath, do two bomb left diagonals. So one and two. And from the second bomb left diagonal, we want to place eight going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we want to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. From this up left diagonal, we want to place 5 going to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we want to do another up left diagonal, just like so. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place 4 going to the left, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place 3 going to the left, so 1, 2, and 3. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we want to place 1 to the left. We then want to place one underneath, then fly back up by one, so back up to this one right here. And we want to place one on top of this left corner, and then place one to the left. Once we've done this, fly back to that one that we place underneath. Once we've flown back to this one that we place underneath, we're going to place two going to the left. So one and two. We then want to do an up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place one to the left, and just like so. And then we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place two to the left, so one and two. We don't want to do two up left diagonals from here, so one and two. And a second up left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. And then we want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, place one to the left. We don't want to do two up left diagonals from here, so one and two. And from the second up left diagonal, place one to the left, just like so. We don't want to do four up left diagonals from here, so one, two, three, and four. And from this fourth up left diagonal, we want to do a bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, we want to do 12 up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. When it's 12 up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left and just like so. And then we want to do five up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four, and five. And from this fifth up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, just like so. And then we want to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. And then this third up left diagonal, we want to place one to the left, just like so. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place another one to the left. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place two to the left, so one and two. And then we want to do another up left diagonal. And this time from this up left diagonal, we want to place 14 going to the left from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. As you can see, we've got two sticking out right here. And from this 14th, 
one that we place to the left, we want to do a bottom left diagonal. From this bottom left diagonal, we want to place two to the left, so one and two. We then want to do another bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, we want to place two to the left, so one and two. And then from these two that we just placed to the left, do another bottom left diagonal from here. Just like so, and from this bottom left diagonal, place another two to the left, so one and two. And then do another bottom left diagonal from here. From this bottom left diagonal this time, place one to the left. Do another bottom left diagonal, place another one to the left, and just like so. And then we want to do five bottom left diagonals from here, so one, two, three, four, and five. And from this fifth bottom left diagonal, place one underneath, and do another bottom left diagonal. And place another one underneath, just like so. And then we want to do two bottom left diagonals from here, so one and two. And then there we go, from the second bottom left diagonal, we can just place two underneath, so one and two. And there you go, we're done with this area. So once again, orange terracotta is going to go all underneath here, and kind of like on the left hand side, going up here as you can see. And orange concrete all on the outside, going up. And the right hand side so once again I'm just going to take up the orange concrete and we're just going to outline on top just to mark up the areas to make sure we don't over spill and so we know where each colored area goes so here we go So after this we've got one more final area to shade in and then we are done for all the shading in and we are finished with the build. Well, again, once again, obviously we're not finished finished because we've got to fill it all in. But for the actual marking out for the barrier and just for the entire build, but technically we are basically finished. you just got to fill it all in at that point in time. But we don't have to do any more annoying areas to kind of go and shade over or give tutorials for. So we can just go straight into the colour in inside. And there we go, so, for the next and final area, we're going to be flying to this one single piece that's underneath this tail right here, so we're getting part of that tail all the way up to the top right there, and for the final sector, we're going to be shading in over here, we want to be flying over to the leg on the right hand side right here, and we want to be flying over to the second line going up, so there's five right here in total, and we want to be flying all the way to the top of the five, so all the way to the top right here, once we fly to the top, taking our orange terracotta, we want to place five to the left, of the very top of this five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we want to do it up left diagonal. Turn this up left diagonal, place two to the left. So one and two. And once we've done this, we want to do another up left diagonal. Turn this up left diagonal, place one to the left. And then finally but not least, do another up left diagonal. And as you can see that up left diagonal just connects in the corner of that three right there and that other three right there. And what does that mean? Well that means we've done everything correctly. And orange terracotta is going to go underneath in this sector right here. And orange concrete is going to go above in this sector right here. So once again, just going to outline it just like so. And there we go. So we're finally done with outlining everything. Again, once again, these two gaps right here, I filled them with air. So if you want to fill in with something else just so you don't get confused, you can do that. But if you know it's going to be air and you can remember, then you can leave it. So I'm going to leave it anyway. Again, you will see my end result as well, so if there is any mistakes you made or any areas you forget, then you will always see it. So, once again, we're going to shade everything in. So this time, we will do the thing that I usually do, which is to pause the video right now kind of thing. So, just getting a full zoom out of everything we've done so far today. So, once again, I'm going to go in and zoom in and explain all the areas one final time. So, I'm going to terracotta inside that small gap on the left-hand side, or orange concrete on the outside. Orange terracotta inside that gap. Orange concrete all on the outside and orange terracotta on the right down there. Orange terracotta underneath here. Orange concrete going all the way up inside here. And orange terracotta to our left right there. Once again, this big sector here. Orange concrete all the way above on the right hand side. Orange terracotta underneath and all the way on the left hand side going up. This big sector right here. Orange concrete on top. And orange terracotta all the way underneath going up here as well. Like underneath there. And orange concrete to the right of here, orange terracotta to the left of there, orange concrete above into there, and orange terracotta underneath there. And there we go. So for the final explanations for the area, so I'm going to zoom into the first tail here. We're pretty much going to get all the tails in, or a lot of them in, because it's pretty hard to get 
the full thing in frame. But once again, if you wanted to finish it and fill it in for yourself and see the end result for yourself, then you can pause the video right now. Or if you want a reference to make sure you don't go wrong and see my end result and then copy it off that, then you can pause the video right now. And there we go. As you can see on the right hand side, we have filled in all the orange concrete. And on the left hand side, we've filled in all the orange terracotta. Also inside that small gap right there, as you can see, we've also filled all orange terracotta inside there and all orange concrete on the outside. And I'll just show you a look at all again at all those parts that are coming out of the tail. So again, the extra like fur spike parts. And as you can see, we filled all of them in in those areas that they're meant to be filled in. So again, if you haven't done this yet, pause the video. If you haven't filled in any of these areas or missed any of these gaps, pause the video at any time you want or need to and fill those areas in. So moving on to the next tail, so this small tail right here. As you can see, orange terracotta is inside that small little gap and on the right hand side right down there. And also orange concrete is all on the outside. Once again, as you can see all these gaps, we have filled in correctly, just like here at the top, just like so. Again, pause the video at any time you need to pause the video. So, without further ado, moving on to the next tail, I can see the third tail right here. Orange terracotta has been filled all in underneath. That also, that gap underneath it is all, as you can see, just air, just like so. And then, going up to the top, as you can see, orange concrete has been filled all up. Going up just like so, and then as you can see, orange terracotta is also on the left, and that little gap there. And again, orange concrete is all on the right hand side, and we filled the outside gaps just like so. Then, moving on to the next tail, moving down to the bottom again, as you can see in this tail right here, orange terracotta has been filled all underneath, and we have filled in all orange concrete on top on the right hand side, and again on the left hand side, all the orange terracotta. And then once again, you can see all the gaps that we have filled in, that's meant to be filled in. So once again, if you haven't done this yet, pause the video and fill in this area as well, if you haven't done this tail. And then moving on to the next little small part under the tail. As you can see, orange terracotta on the left, orange concrete on the right, and you can see all the areas that we're meant to fill in. And that gap on the right there is air, just as it should be. And then on moving on to the next final big tail. Or you can say, let's just say the bottom part of the tail here, you can see the orange terracotta underneath. And the orange concrete is to the right. And I can see those two gaps is there that I've said many, many times. And all the orange terracotta is underneath here. And all the orange concrete is on the right. We're going above. And again, you can see all the gaps that we have left. Just like that gap there. This is meant to be looking like that. And there you go. So there is everything done. And well, as you already know, if you completed all of this, then you'll finish with your Karumura build. And that isn't the entire build done for Karumura Night Tales, which... Just need to load it actually all in. <laughs> it's so big. And uh, there we go. So there's the final and end result of the build. If you did enjoy this build so far, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe as well if you haven't. And you're new to the channel, that is much appreciated. It helps support me and lets me do more and more picks about tutorials. And I think, as I said before, this build is definitely by far one of the best builds on the channel because it just looks so epic. And for the next build on the channel, we'll be continuing our Jira build, as we're not finished yet. And that build is quite a small build compared to everything else. I feel like it's going to be a bit like Sasuke, not too many parts to it. I, like, I guarantee you, it probably wouldn't even get one in 10 parts. Actually, that might be a lie. It, it depends really how long the shading takes. But without further ado, Jira should be the next one, and it shouldn't be that long. After Jira, as I said before, I think Zoro is going to be the next one. After Zoro, I'm, I'm probably going to get the 100 sub special out. After that, we're probably going to move on to a Naruto build. And I think for Naruto, we're going to do Pain, I believe, for the next one. After that one, I think we're going to be doing Nami. And after Nami, we're going to be doing Toby. After Toby, we're probably going to do Kagima. And then after that, I'm not so sure what we're going to be doing after that. Um, and also, potentially, when I, when I say all those builds, which that's probably going to be the order they're going to be in. But we may also have a 250 sub special very soon. And with that note being said as well. I'm not so sure if I said thank you yet. But thank you for hitting over 200 subs. We did hit over 200 subs before I already pre-recorded the last video. So again, massive thank you for the support. That has been much appreciated. And that is much appreciated. Which I think I already have said thank you. But again, thank you very much for that. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. So peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And goodbye.